Paul, the Sedins have spent the last decade and a half in the NHL being called names. Did you ever expect that Daniel Sedin would be called a low life? No, uh, Dennis Potvin, uh, Jonathan, you put your peanut butter in my chocolate, didn't you? Uh, Dennis Potvin with a weird reference to peanut butter and them licking their fingers. Botchford covers it off in his provies. Um, but this all keys off those Sedins being called sisters again last night, and they actually lost their temper. They fought back, which is, is unlike them. But while you have clowns like Dennis Potvin, uh, who was a former player, obviously must be suffering from some sort of post-traumatic brain injury because you can call Daniel Sedin a lot of things if you're, say, a fan of the Bruins, a wimp, you know, uh, a crybaby. You can't call him a lowlife. Like, these are top-quality people. Uh, and I'm not saying that, Den or that uh, Daniel Sedin is those things, Jonathan. I'm just saying there's easy targets for the Sedins, um, but they're not lowlifes. That's the last thing you call them. I mean, if you're Denny Potvin, shouldn't you be looking at your own team, say at Sean Thornton and using that term, or even looking at yourself and your career where you were, you know, pretty dirty player and be using that term? Yeah, I guess he was too busy with the pom-poms to see what Sean Thornton was doing.